start with the musical impulse and everything else comes from that. And um, even though they end up affecting one another, so if I have a musical impulse that makes me think of an image, then I capture that image and it's different from what my imagination was. So the real image will then re uh, you know, change the music that I originally thought of and then it becomes this, this feedback loop. And that's the part that I feel like I haven't really developed a great vocabulary to explain that to everyone who asks, mostly because I haven't needed to. And that's, that's the really fascinating part of this process is by, um, by doing it myself and it, things stay in this intuitive state. Um, and uh, it's very quick, it's a very it's a thought process, you know, ping-pongs across your head really fast and sometimes I don't even know how I got to something and I, I'm surprised that it's even occurred in my own mind because it's just, um, there's so much stimulus, you know. I definitely think of myself as a composer first. Um, I would even say if you would follow me into like the loopy definitions of things, I would not prefer to call myself a filmmaker. I would prefer in my own weird way of thinking, I'm a composer who works with sounds and images. And the images, while it's, it's, I'm taking from techniques of filmmaking, I don't personally, I don't think of it as a filmmaking career at all. I know that for practicality's sake, it is filmmaking, and that's how a lot of people will uh, will define it and be able to respond to it. Um, but I'm not a filmmaker in any classical sense. I've never had a, a, a standard education. I've just sort of picked it up from um, being interested in films and being interested in other friends who are filmmakers and seeing what they do. And I've collaborated with uh, people who work in film. And on, the, on my own projects, I've collaborated with really talented filmmakers. So I'm, I'm learning the techniques of a filmmaker, but I work, I would say, 95% with the instincts of a composer. And maybe 5% I really need to just say, OK, music, put that aside. I need to figure out this, this filmmaking problem. I'm interested in, in composing and making films. Obviously, that's a huge task, and you can't just do that all the time. Um, it, takes, it takes every ounce of energy and all of your attention to do that. I'm also interested in advocating for music, I guess, and, and um, it was really exciting for me to take Mark Danzinger's music and Michael Mizrahi's playing and create a, a film around that that I think was interpreted by a musician, interpreted by a composer. I almost felt it was sort of an analysis of the music visually. Um, and uh, yeah, while I didn't generate the music, I felt that I was, I was very close to the music and I kind of put on my composer hat and I thought of the, the deeper meanings of phrases and things like that. 
and, and I, f I feel like those are the details that are often uh, not prioritized by people who are just filmmakers and not musicians. I don't want to give the impression that I think all music should be visual um, or have a visual element. I, I listen to music without visuals most of the time. And I even say, and people uh, ask me, I, I, think that I, I, I think that most music should not have a visual element, especially if it wasn't conceived with the visual element. And um, for many reasons, but I'd say one of the primary reasons is that Instrumental music takes all of our attention. There's so much, especially the techniques that composers have today, they're really filling it, you know, sounds with all sorts of things that we need to pay attention to. If you add images to that without knowing ahead of time that they're going to be there, it's overwhelming and I think that they detract from one another. Um, so when getting back to can my music and images be uh, extracted, I think that there would be something to be uh, left to be desired because I, I separated all of that information into two uh, mediums. The music sometimes would sound, I think, far too simple if you just heard it. And uh, the images might not have enough change if you just watched them. But together, there's, they're, they're holding your attention and it's going back and forth.